So with the town of Loomis in the background, my wife and I watched the harvest for the better part of the afternoon. It was pretty impressive how quickly they harvested this field. Then we went to the other side of the field to watch the shelling operation. Charlie Linder has just dropped a wagon of ears off to have the kernels removed. Ivan Samuelson unloads the wagon onto a conveyor that takes it up into another wagon. Here, Alan Samuelson is pulling the corn out of the bottom of that one where it can go two different ways to two different shellers. The corn goes up the conveyor into the shelling machine, which you can see is driven by a big belt from the tractor. Out of the sheller comes kernels into the wagon, cobs onto the pile, and the husks come out of the big chute. This Oliver 77 is what is powering the other sheller. You can see it in operation here. We just had a breakdown. Alan's going to shut the deer down and go mount, remount the chain that drives the sheller. And with that done, he and Darcy are back at work, pulling ears of corn out of the wagon onto the conveyor, and we're back in business. Gene Samuelson will always be on the move, watching different parts of the shelling operation. Gene's also a deputy sheriff for Phelps County. When the picking was complete, everyone came over to the shelling area. Ty climbed up on a pile of cobs. Greg Linder parked his new idea next to the Wood Brothers. And I had a chance to talk to Gene Samuelson about the operation. So it was quite an afternoon, back to the early days of automation and farming. And of course, as this old time harvest was taking place, the modern harvest was in full swing. And while these guys were finishing up and going back to the barn, our old time farmers were also finishing the picking, but of course they still had some shelling to do. With innovation and hard work, American farmers have always provided for our country. Next time you go to the store, remember these farmers and their families. Perfect, I got that.